message from you. Peace. Peace. Okay. This love is gone. This could be a cat that either is gone, it's no longer with you, or it has somehow withdrawn itself. I get that there was mutual love here between the two of you. Unfortunately, I had no room to bring my cats here to, to, to guard over me, but they are always with us, luckily. If you want to know more, if you have several cats, click the link below. I'll continue this read. <laughs> So, what is it that my lovelies need to know? Messages from your cats or cats. They are something that... Um, Hmm. A lot of buried, many buried cats here. So cat, there's one cat here. I also think this one is gone. It could be grey with stripes. It used to be a very relaxed and happy cat. So there is a message here for you regarding this specific cat. For some of you, I know that this, some, some of you, one cat was named Balthasar. It was a very sweet cat. It was like, a, not all of you have the name Balthasar on this cat, but I know a specific one of you. It was very large, you know, with some white paintings on the chest. Uh, it was like a caretaker. Uh, sometimes I suspect that there are angelic energies that are hidden within our Anibelas. Uh, there are three cats here and they don't get along. One is white, one is blue or grey and one is black. And uh, I don't know. Uh, Look away from the colors, but sometimes I, the reason I mentioned the colors, the white one's got some spotted gray on it, is because sometimes it could be a specific message that you. But sometimes, you know, the cats can, the cats are very different. It's all about the alpha cat and the big, you know, the, the, the cat in the hood and so forth and so forth. Um, but there is a lack here of of uh, working together. I also see that there is one cat here who prefer, prefers to be alone. One cat is already on its way. Some of you could carry a cat or you have a cat that carries a burden or it's, it's old, it's sick, or the cat itself could be a burden to some of you because the cat carries a burden. It could be an illness or the cat could be very old is what I get. It could be that it's been in some kind of an accident. Maybe it's got this lamp thing around its neck. Some of you have difficulties to 
difficulties uh, regarding your cat when it comes to detaching. So when you lost a cat, some cat walked away and maybe you don't know where it is right now. You don't understand why it left maybe in the first place. One cat here, I think, was in an accident. If you had uh, a red brown, red brownish or a ginger cat, and uh, you wonder where it is, it was in an accident uh, or it was somehow killed. There is one cat here who find it very difficult to defend it. It's <laughs> here. Like I said, you don't have to get a hookup in the colors, but somehow they might have a meaning to them. Some of you have here a cat that is already gone and uh, it is among the stars. And just as you sometimes are thinking about that beautiful cat, that was the star of my life. This cat is now in a very peaceful state of mind. It has continued its, its journey as it is as well with you all the time. Every time you look at a specific star, the brightest star uh, in the sky, look at the brightest star in the sky and you need to know that I'm looking back at you. I will always be with you. Especially here, this cat is white with some stripes. Like I said, it doesn't have to be like that, but sometimes it could resonate a little bit extra. There is another cat here who is a little bit difficult to deal with. It's a little bit wild, so you somehow need to contain it, as you can see with the El Golgado here, the hangman. And, and so it tends to get into trouble. Uh, for some of you, this cat is black. But you need to understand that right now, I feel that this cat is, um, it's in a learning process. Some of you have a cat, it, it, it's still got it balls, it's balls. So you realize that they need to go because the entire neighborhood is now in the night. Well, because, okay, my, uh, whatever your name is for that cat. I had a cat like that. It was called Lucifer. Of course, you know, I was young. I was 15. I was dressed in black. I had a Slayer t-shirt. I painted a demon on my wall. I painted Satan on the wall, literally. Uh, and uh, and this cat came with a small little light here. Of course, it was a carrier of the light. Anyway, I thought Lucifer was such a cat-like name. So I know that uh, there are other people out there who have a cat named Lucifer the morning star uh listen for the morning star my cat he loves to sleep by my side on you know on his on his uh back with the paws like this <sighs> we had a special connection but when he was out you know he was the boss he was the boss unfortunately people are putting out rat poison there because we need to get rid of this rat problem. No, the rats ain't not the problem, my dear. It is we who are the problem on this planet. Yes, anyway, with that said, some of you might expect a phone call regarding a lost cat, it will return to you. It's an older cat who 
already got its kitty kitties. It's a very cuddly cat. Uh, you can put other people's puppies uh, or you know other people's kittens and put added tits and it will nourish them. Uh, some of you will get your cat back and it will be knocked up. Now remember to feed your kitty cat properly. Cooked meal, I don't know, would you want to eat dried out salty pellets each day? Or would you want to eat that, mm -hmm, oh well, I'll buy cheddar. It's a little bit expensive. You know what? What will you eat for dinner? Cooked fish. Mix it up with a little bit. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I know cooked fish, prawns, these kind of things. Primary food. Really, if you want your cat to live long, if you want to save its kidneys, don't feed it with dry salt or things that go goes in the mouth and out the other end very quick you know you want to keep your cat nourished safe and safe and sound strange channel hey love you so much guys namaste